Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here and I'm going to show you guys how you'd be able to set up and use your fingerprint scanner on the Samsung Galaxy S5. So some people like this, some people don't, some people like the pin, pattern, password, whatever you want to do. But I do have a couple tips on the uh, fingerprint scanner on the Samsung Galaxy S5. So first off, this is how you set it up. Pull down the notifications bar, head into where it says the settings with that little uh, screw, little gear icon up there. Over here you're going to see where it says finger scanner. again. Uh, with different countries, different carriers, the icon, uh, maybe somewhere else. If yours isn't showing this grid that I have here, just go into the settings and you can go to list view. Um, or you'd actually be able to go into the tab view, which is, uh, you know, the different tabs. Or you go into the grid. For some reason, I like the grid. Um, but all right, here we go. So fingerprint scanner, touch on there. Right here, you can notice that there is no registered fingerprint. So you touch on fingerprint manager. Now what you're going to want to do is you make sure you start on the screen and you finish over that button. And you'll be using the entire pad of your finger. So here we go. And you just make sure you roll it on over. And so as you keep going and going and going, it's going to get more green and green and green. Again, make sure you start on the screen and you roll the entire pad of your finger over. And just take your time. You don't need to go extremely quick with it. And then this is how you'd be able to get it accurate. And if you always want to, you can take the exact same finger and do it in different ways. And then you can actually have several different fingerprints for that. Uh, now let's say that I need to use a password. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to do River9. Which, by the way, that will be changing later on after this video. So now that we have that, you're going to go into where it says Fingerprint. And so this way you'd be able to have your fingerprint to turn on the screen and unlock it. So I'm going to turn off the power button here. Turn it right back on. And so now, as you guys can see, this is where you'd be able to put in the alternate password. And then you'd be able to, again, just swipe your finger over the fingerprint scanner. And there we go. Easy peasy. Have a great day.